Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. This evening I'm staying at the Art Hotel, don't say the H, it's Art Hotel in London, Battersea. As always, I'm going to tour and review the hotel, the accommodation, dining arrangements, bars and also have a look at what's in the locality. By the way, that will include going up a chimney like Dick Van Dyke or Mary Poppins or both. The location couldn't be more convenient with Battersea Power Station underground, just three minutes walk. And welcome to Electric Boulevard, the heart of London's rapidly up and coming Battersea neighbourhood and the home of award winning Art Hotel. Oh, don't say the H. If you're looking for art, culture, excellent food, vibrant bars, rooftop drinks with a view and even an infinity rooftop pool, this might be the place for you. All rooms here were designed by award-winning Spanish artist and designer Jaime Ayon. You can expect colour, playfulness and those all-important floor-to-ceiling windows. Welcome to the Art Hotel. Check-in is from 3pm. Oh my goodness, it smells delish in here. Oh, I could probably just live in this lounge area, actually. Anyway, we need to check in. Matthew is sat over there waiting patiently for me. Good boy, Matthew. And check-in is right at the end. The check-in and lounge areas are absolutely big, bold and brash. Yep, I myself have been described just like that. Pretty accurate, I would say. Alrighty, let's find our room. It's 1304. Yes, it's on the 13th floor. Unlucky for some. I don't believe in luck. Around here. And here we are, touch in. And welcome to 1304. So this is classed as a king room. It's a skyline view, which we'll see shortly. Uh, hence why it's also higher up. Now then you can operate all the lights uh, for the main room, the bathroom, and should you need a good clean, not you personally, your room, or you need privacy, just operate everything using this touchpad. And you also have aircon um, here. That's not Arctic conditions by my standards, so I might need to change that. Once you come into the room, you've got some hooks here uh, for your coats, your hoodies. Now look at the size of this mirror. It's crazy. I don't think I've ever had a mirror that big in a room, any room, anywhere on the planet before. Love it. Bathroom is over here on the left, which we'll check out soon. Uh, we're talking deep diesel colours here, folks. Uh, come and have a look at the bedroom area. I really like it, actually. Uh, oh, look, a pair of spectacles on the wall as well. So this is your king bed. It's just so crisp and clean. I love it. I will, of course, let you know how I sleep, but it feels very comfy. Uh, around the side, we've got um, this fabulous contemporary unit um, and by your bed you can also again operate the um, AC and lighting you've got mood lighting as well we'll try that a little bit later and beside the bed you've got uh, two UK sockets two USB ports we've got a lamp here gorgeous headboard it's very clean by the way thank you for that art photo of course it's going to be clean uh, let's pan around from this angle because of course angles and perspectives are everything and to the right of the bed you have your coffee and tea facilities i absolutely adore this beyond adore now the water is complimentary of course you've paid for it already i have no idea how i'm going to operate this machine it looks incredible i might try and get matthew to sort that out for me directly underneath one would hope in this cupboard we have our tea and coffee facilities amenities oh good and proper tea we've got bickies coffee uh pods here as well God knows how they, oh, thank goodness, it comes with instructions, I need that. Uh, you've got some milk as well, thank you very much. Two good size shelves down here as well. Just above your amenities, you have your in-room safe, um, complimentary to use up here, a massive shelf and cupboard space, that's great. And the wardrobe area, let's have a peep, oh, look at those gowns, yeah. 
I am a big, oh, they are super comfy. I was just gonna say I'm a big fan of the way they look, but the way they feel, ooh. We've got slippers, of course we'll try those on later. Over here, we've got a steamer. I don't think I've seen one of those before in a hotel room. Uh, plenty of storage space here, plus uh, your good old trusty hairdryer. Uh, we've got um, shoes shine, sewing kit, all the information about laundry facilities. Now, I always say I don't actually know whether the laundry facilities are good value or not because I don't tend to use them and I don't compare the prices from hotel to hotel. They look reasonable to you, standard, above average, too high? Let me know because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> oh my goodness, look, Matthew's using the steamer. I've never seen one of these used. Like, where have I been, under a rock? Thank you, Matthew, for that. Yeah, he said, yeah, you've been under a rock. I can't help it if the rooms I stayed in don't have steamers. What do you want me to do about it? And above the rack, you've got, again, another huge storage space. So if you are here long term, you know, if you're staying for about half a year or something, I think you'll be all right for the storage. Directly ahead of the bed, we've got our vanity area, good sized television. I think this is so cool, by the way. It is so colorful, loving it. Um, we have a range of sockets here, folks. So you've got um, a US socket, a European socket, two UK sockets, plus two USB ports. You wanna hook up to this speaker? No problem, be my guest. There are also two more UK sockets just next to that huge mirror. And underneath the television, uh, we have our mini bar. Looks like a beauty of a mini bar. Uh, no, these are not included in your overnight stay, I'm afraid. You're gonna need to pay extra for those. Oh, look, chocolate looks like boss chocolate. And even a freezer compartment. Don't see that very often in hotel rooms, especially in London. I like it. And next to the bar, we have even more storage space. I mean, I might actually move in. Great corner chair and table, lamp. And up here, you've got some reading materials. Who's afraid of contemporary art? Not me, hell no. Fabulous sized window here. Matthew reliably informs me this is not an uncomfy chair. I was saying, oh, that's not very good, is it, Matthew? There's no cushions or anything. He tells me that's for your luggage. Um, how on earth did I become a travel vlogger? I don't know. Uh, to the left-hand side of the bed, you've got another um, bedside unit slash table, uh, telephone, and also you can, again, operate air conditioning and your lighting from here. There are two more UK sockets and two USB ports as well. All right. As angles are everything, let's check out the room from the very corner. Nobody puts Jamie in, oh, they just did. I mean, I absolutely love the look and feel of this room. And by the way, it smells divine. I just wanna bathe in it. I wanna bathe in this room. Like I said, it's a bit of a gloomy autumnal day in London. Um, so your skyline views here, as you can see, Central London is in that direction. Probably get some better views from the rooftop. Yes, we'll be heading there. And the TV comes in very useful, more than just watching television and movies. Yep, uh, room service information, guest information. You can cast your device, messages, and view your bill as well. Alrighty, let's access this wonder pass and see what we can find out. Well, let's get our priorities straight and check out that mini bar menu and those prices. I'd say they're on the more reasonable end of comparable London hotels. Listen up, I never said they're cheap though, did I? If you're staying for breakfast, you can choose either Totsi Grand Cafe or indeed room service. Again, whilst prices might seem particularly elevated, I will say they are again reasonable compared to hotels of this caliber in London. I also think the range of items on offer are actually very good here. However, with so many eateries on your doorstep, you are gonna be spoilt for choice. There's even a Dishoom right next door. Oh my God, I love Dishoom. And lastly, a look at prices for smoothies and of course, those all important hot drinks. And who doesn't love loads of milky options, eh? Oh, and whilst we're at it, let's look at the lunch and dinner in room service options as well. I'm so kind to you. And yeah, you know what I'm gonna say, the prices are pretty comparable to other hotels of this caliber in London. It doesn't make any difference whether you think these prices are worth it or not, folks. This is the standard rate these days in London. But you know, you don't have to eat in the hotel. You have got options. 
Alrighty, let's head into the bathroom. It's a long way down here. Good space, I must say. Okay, come on in. I wonder how many people will be able to fit in this shower. Oh, I'm going with four, folks. What a lovely, oh, it smells divine in here as well. Lovely sized shower. Looks like we've got uh, a monsoon. Absolutely. Don't you worry, we've got the portable hose as well to get all your bits and bobs clean. And what products do we have? Kevin Murphy products. I've got to be honest with you, I don't know who that is. I've not tried them before, but I will, of course, report back. Nice clean looking sink basin area. We've got our towels here. Oh, there's two power settings to the toilet. Are you ready? One cheek, two cheek. Ra, ra, ra. Sorry, I know that's annoying. Now this mirror, what to say? It kind of makes me feel like an elongated face with ears either side. Is that what it's supposed to be? I don't know, I'm not really into my art to be honest with you, but I love it. Uh, we've got more Kevin Murphy products here, flannels or face towels, and I presume we're gonna use these for our shavers and toothbrushes as well, not to drink out of. We have a torture device here on the wall so you can see all your imperfections and it will make you feel like you need to go and have surgery or something like that. And we have um, our shaver point here as well. I think you could probably see and agree that most of this space has been used for the shower. And I think that's very sensible personally. All right, let's check out the shower. It is super, super hot, folks. Oh, I'm never gonna wanna get out of here. And those products are absolutely delightful. I had them as mixers with some vodka just now. Let's talk ka-ching. This room has come to 237 pounds for the one night. I will say this is a fabulous location. As you're gonna see shortly, Battersea Power Station is the place to be. You can even go up a chimney. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you that area briefly as well. But before we do that, let's head up to the rooftop and see what that outdoor pool is like. Will I even go in the outdoor pool? It's towards the end of November. I don't know. Let's see what the water temperature's like, eh? Ooh, views, curvaceous. As soon as you come out of the lifts on the 16th floor, you are partially outside. This is the rooftop bar. I bet it's absolutely fabulous in the summer. I'm gonna have to come back now, aren't I? Blimmin' heck, I knew this would happen. Gorgeous space. Oh my goodness, and look, it's Battersea Power Station. I can see a chimney. I'm guessing the pool is up here. I might need to go back to the room actually, put my gown on and get some towels, I don't know. Right, well we've got towels up here actually, so I'll probably be all right. There's some lounges and look at the pool with this incredible view. So there's a hot tub over there. I mean, this is Battersea Power Station Infinity, isn't it? It's so cool. But is it warm, folks? Do I dare strip off on this rooftop towards the end of November and jump in? Well, this is pretty special, I must say. <laughs> To some of you, this is just Battersea Power Station. To me, this is architecture and history. Too cool for school and too school for cool. <laughs> okay, it's actually quite warm. Normally I'd be on the side, huffing, puffing, going <gasps> I'm in. This is such a cool thing to do. Late autumn in London. Thank you, Art Hotel. <laughs> ah, it's starting to get darker now. I'm gonna have to stay until it is properly dark, aren't I? Love it. And here's a quick peep at the other hotel amenities and you'll be pleased to know there is indeed a sauna, steam room and spa. Radio, let's check out Totsi. All right, this is the Totsi Cafe and bar on the upper ground floor. Very swish. As first time guests at the hotel, we've been given a free glass of bubbles each. How awesome. I want one of these at home, by the way. Maple said I can have one. You won't be surprised to learn that the food served in the Totsi Cafe is pretty much the same as what's on the in-room dining menu. I mean, it's all coming from the same kitchen, folks. If 
you're looking for something a little bit more intimate and special, check out Joya, which is an Iberian speciality dining venue on the 15th floor. It's not always open on a Sunday or Monday evening, so do check out those opening times in advance. Let's have a look inside Battersea Power Station. And right on your doorstep, you do have Battersea Power Station. Now basically a shopping mall with a gazillion uh, shops, restaurants, bars, cafes, etc. And damn it, yes, we're going to explore some of them soon. But first, we are heading to lift 109. We are heading up that chimney. Right, in we go. Oh, it's super immersive. Mary Poppins step in time, Mary Poppins step in time. Da, 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 da. Up the chimney we go. Nearly there. Oh, it's Winter Wonderland, yeah. We were there earlier. What a ripoff. <laughs> Oh, you can see the pool of the art hotel. <laughs> Alrighty, and we have booked into control room B for obviously a soft drink. Oh, I don't know how that happens. I was gonna have a soft drink. Chin chin, everybody. Awesome bar, recommend it, folks. A little cheeky meal at Brindisa Tapas. Cheers, Matthew. The food and service here were both absolutely superb. Honestly, I can't recommend it enough. After decades of sitting derelict, it's awesome to see this area open again to the public. Ah, and that's a little peep at what's on your doorstep if you stay at the Art Hotel. If you want more information on Lift 109 or Battersea Power Station, just search Travel Blog Jamie Lift 109. Gosh, how imaginative is that? Alrighty, I'll see you in the morning and I will be reporting back on how comfortable this very bed is. Don't go anywhere. Good night. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. I'm very happy to report back that I had a fabulous sleep. What a comfy bed that was. Good room temperature. And in spite of the fact the hotel is just off a railway track, uh, very quiet. Apparently there's soundproofing here and I've heard that many times staying in hotels. On this occasion, it works. <laughs> oh my goodness. May I recommend a morning swim, perhaps a dip in the hot tub. It ain't busy up here on a Monday morning. I am definitely gonna need to come back when the weather is warmer and sunnier. Right, it is breakfast time. And of course you've got the Totsi Grand Cafe here. I thought the items and prices looked uh, very reasonable actually. Uh, but of course you've got oodles of options for food on your doorstep. I'm gonna head down here and find a delightful little coffee shop or two. And those all important reflections about the art hotel oh gosh don't say that you could get thrown in prison for that first of all recognition to the staff here who are top-notch friendly attentive approachable professional ticking all the boxes so thank you very much the hotel itself is spotless it's quirky it's contemporary it's luxurious it's everything i look for in a hotel love the totsi grand cafe and bar good range of drinks down there and i would say that for london and uh, london hotel of this caliber the prices were reasonable to good the joya bar and restaurant not open on a Sunday. I knew that in advance of staying here, so no disappointment, but if you really want to go to that 15th floor bar and restaurant, make sure you check the opening days and hours. I don't want you to be disappointed. Okay, so you can find London hotels with rooftop bars, but not many of them also have a pool and hot tub with views of Battersea Power Station and of course the London skyline. Wow, this is a massive plus for me. I love swimming. The water is heated beautifully, so it doesn't matter what time of year it is, just take your robe up to make sure that you cover yourself and your bits and bobs over when you get out of that pool. It can be a bit chilly. What an absolute plus for this hotel. I'm sold on that. I wanna come back again already. And in keeping with this hotel, this room, beautifully quirky, luxurious, contemporary, absolutely love it. Love the space, it's so clean and comfortable, I had a great night's sleep. 
highly recommend. One pointer from me, I think a hotel of this caliber could afford to give you fresh milk, especially as they've gone to the trouble of providing what looks like a very expensive coffee machine. The UHT plastic pod milk, I just don't think cuts the mustard for someone like this. It's a minor point, I know, but there are other hotels in London now providing fresh bottles of milk uh, in your room as well. And finally, the location, it's awesome. You're within a few minutes walk of the Battersea Underground Station, which is on the Northern Line, direct access from Waterloo as well, which is fantastic. Of course, you've got Battersea Power Station on your doorstep with oodles of eateries, cafes, restaurants, bars, the cinema, ping pong, everything going. Not to mention there is river taxi access here as well. It's got it all. Will we be back? Hell yes, of course we will. Absolutely love it. Checkout is by 12 p.m. and it can all be handled online. Super easy. Thank you all for your support in helping me reach 20,000 subscribers. And today, shout outs to my patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, just search patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on X, Threads, Instagram, Patreon, and YouTube.